Wellington High School's fourth biennial culture festival. It is a festival to celebrate all the different types of cultures. So there's like booths for a ton of different countries so they can learn all about them and all about the different cultures and celebrate global equality. My booth is Mexico and we have a mariachi band, we have a Day of the Dead person, we have a salsa dancer, and we have me, a vaquero, which, or a Mexican cowgirl. Um, no, okay, I'm these are sopapillas, which are like fried dough with cinnamon sugar on them. And then these are pomerones de canela, and it's basically just cinnamon sugar cookies. And then we have empanadas stuffed with meat and cheese. And then we have various Mexican cookies in here. Uh, we made jollof rice, which is a traditional Ghanaian rice dish. It's one of the most popular foods in Ghana. So, uh, for this culture celebration, we brought over some Haitian food, and it's called Jili, which means rice, and we also bought curry chicken, and these are the pictures of uh, coconuts and it's, this fruit is called kosal. It's only grown in the Caribbean. You can't find it anywhere else. It's important here, but you rarely find it in our jacket. And these are some countries in their map. And this is Caribbean art, a picture of Caribbean art, what it looks like. Alright, so we have curry chicken on this side. And my mom made it. <laughs> it has um, Jamaican curry powder and coconut milk in it, and basically it's like cooked in a pot. And and if you want like a green, there's a couple back there too. Okay. We're carnival girls from Brazil, and they basically wear a lot of feathers and sequins and stuff. So. Um, we made a Brazilian cheese bread, which is a tapioca flour, and the flour com comes from the ca cassava plant, which is native to Brazil. Brazil. And then we also made a chocolate dessert candy that's just like, Lauren made that. What's in the chocolate dessert candy? <laughs> it's like condensed milk and cocoa. And then we made a delicious And rice. sprinkles. And the rice has tomatoes and... Tomatoes and garlic and, and onions. onions. Lots of onions. It's good. We cry. Hi, so this is France. Our food here, we have um, a little French bread and some croissants and uh, Nutella, because Nutella is famous food. Um, and then over here we have uh, fruit tart with like a um, with kiwi and strawberries and blueberries. Then we have creme brulee and uh, some white chocolate and dark chocolate truffles with raspberry inside. Yeah. This one or that one? 
Belgian waffles. So they're not like the big ones. We just cut them into fourths, so there would be more. But it's self-serve, and you can put anything on it: whipped cream, chocolate, more chocolate, and strawberries. You're on the spot. What? We're on the spot, kid. Where's Antoine? Beef stroganoff, Russian tr classic dish, made by many families very cheaply, very quickly. It's very good if you'd like to try some. cake of Australia and it's, it's like a chocolate cup, it's like a chocolate covered like frosting covered in coconut and it's the plain vanilla cake. It's poutine, it's french fries with cheese curds and beef gravy on it. Just heat it up. Oh, I don't. I won't.
traditional American dish after that. Ni hao. Ta. This here we have is lo mein. And lo mein is eaten on special occasions. And usually it's eaten by itself because it's considered the whole meal. Ni hao. No, I did not. Ni hao. And then we have egg rolls. Egg rolls are also eaten on special occasions because um, they symbolize long life and um, renewing uh, happiness, I think. Happiness? Yeah. Huh? Are you going around filming everybody? Ready? This is a traditional Chinese dress. <laughs> Soda bread. 
can you make your own? So this is um, sweet rice cakes, and those are your generally dessert. Uh, then we, and that's called duck. And this is kimbap, and it is sushi, but in Korean sushi there's no fish. So we have crab meat, meat um, egg, sweet radish, cucumbers, egg, rice, and seaweed. And this is mandu, which are fried dumplings, and the big ones are meat, and the small ones are vegetables. Welcome to the Philippines. Most of these are party foods. The one on the left side is called uh, Turon. It's a jackfruit and banana fried com uh, compilation. The one in the middle is called Fancy. It's basically noodles with carrots and beans and chicken. And the one over here is called Lumpia. It's chicken, beans, and carrots again, but it's in a uh, bread form. Usually the one in the middle, what they do at parties is they make a huge bowl, put all the Fancy inside, People just line up, put them in the plates, and just go eat it. Feel it out. Lay it on the pan. 25 sheets, not all together, not consecutively. You have to spray it. Make sure it stays moist. Mix walnuts with sugar and cinnamon. Get a nice mixture going. And you cover it. Put some butter on top. Cook it. It's done. And then put chocolate on top. Another one.
Turkish club side. And like, it's like in a lot of Spanish speaking countries where they like make it their own. We use a lot of cilantro and we put olives in it. So that's how we make it our own, I guess. Everything we have here is homemade, and they're all they're all Peru, part of the regular Peruvian diet. We have a minestrone soup. We have a homemade herbal tea. We also have ham and cheese empanadas, and we have a rice pudding and vanilla cookies and chocolate in the middle. Yeah. 
एक दिन नहीं डर किसी का नहीं भाई किसी का नहीं डर किसी का नहीं भाई किसी का एक दिन ओ मन में विश्वास पूरा है विश्वास हम होंगे कामिया एक दिन हम चलेंगे साथ साथ हम होंगे कामिया एक दिन Our next performers are Ruja Trivedi and Jocelyn Ferraro, also representing the country of India. They will, they will be doing a Bollywood dance. Bollywood is a term used for the Hindi language film industry, which is based in Mumbai, India. They will be performing a compilation of songs and dances from recent Bollywood movies. Please give it up for Ruju and Jocelyn.
singing La Vie en Rose, which is a signature song of French singer Edith Piaf. Let's give it up for Lizzie. to their husbands, brothers, fathers, and sons before they went off to war. Let's give it up for Anna and Hillary.
Megan Bransfield, Emma Howland, Jackie Duffy, Caitlin Barnett, Caroline Sulek, and Caroline Greer performing El Baile de la Escoba or the Group Dance next. This is a traditional game played by Costa Rican children. Two members from the Mexico group traveled to Costa Rica last April and learned this dance while participating in a cultural exchange. We taught them baseball and they taught us the broom dance, similar to America's version of musical chairs. Please get it up for Costa Rican dancers.
called a two hand reel. This dance is typically done during dance outs or public performances. Please give it up for Madison. <laughs> from Senegal, West Africa. I'm born in from Griot family. You know, Griot family, they play drums and dance and sing. But like uh, my whole family play drums and dance in Senegal, West Africa. You know, and if in my house and my home, if you born, you can, you're you gonna play drums and dance. You don't need to go to school for that. You don't need to go to school to learn about how to dance and how to sing. If you born, they come directly from your blood. You know, it's the Giriwa family in Senegal. Yeah, that's where I come from. But, thank you. But I'm so happy to be here. Okay, I'm really happy to be here for you guys, you know. Okay, the next song we're playing is Kaula. Kaula Rhythms. Everybody say Kaula. 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 Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Okay, wow, wow means good job. If you see somebody doing a great job in Senegal, you can say wow, wow. Wow, wow, guys. Okay, let's have fun. <laughs> 